Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn first problem in continuity. You see this question, prove that the function f of x equal to 5x minus 3 is continuous at x equal to 0 and at x equal to minus 3 and at x equal to 5. Actually, in this three problems are involved. Here, you need to know this definition. When we say function is continuous at x equal to a, we know that limit x approaches to a f of x equal to f of a. Then what we say? Then we say that function is continuous at x equal to a. I'll write here. Uh, if this holds good, then we say that f of x is continuous f of x is continuous where at x equal to a okay limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a then we say that function is continuous at x equal to a first bit in this is we need to show that function is continuous at x equal to 0 when we say function is continuous at x equal to 0, you observe here. Limit extends to 0. You observe in place of a, I written 0 here. Limit extends to 0. f of x equal to f of 0. Then we say that function is continuous at x equal to 0. So, first I will calculate this value. Limit extends to 0 f of x. Next, I will calculate f of 0. If both are same, then I can say that function is continuous at x equal to 0. So, first you calculate limit extends to 0 f of x. Limit extends to 0 f of x. That equal to limit x approaches to 0 f of x. What is the function here? The function is 5x minus 3. In limits, different types of methods are there. How to calculate limit of this function? For any limit problem, first we try by direct method. That means in this function, wherever x is there, there we will write 0. This we learn in limit chapter, how to calculate this. In this function, wherever x is there, there you write 0. What you will get? 5 into 0 minus 3. 5 into 0 is what? 0. 0 minus 3 is what? Minus 3. So, when I calculate limit extends to 0 f of x, what I got? I got it as minus 3. Now, what to calculate? I need to calculate f of 0. Please observe here. What is the function f of x? f of x is 5x minus 3. Please observe here. f of x is 5x minus 3. f of x is 5x minus 3. f of y? f of y is 5y minus 3. f of z? 5z minus 3. f of 0? f of 0 is what? 5 into 0 minus 3. So, what is f of 0? f of 0 is 5 into 0 minus 3. That is nothing but minus 3. You observe that this value also we got minus 3. From this, what you can say? You can say that therefore, limit x approaches to 0 f of x is same as f of 0. When this holds good, what we say? We say that f of x is continuous at x equal to what here? x equal to 0. So, what we say? Therefore, we say that f of x is continuous. f of x is continuous where at x equal to 0. Therefore, f of x is continuous at x equal to 0. Now, second bit. Where to check the continuity? Second bit. At x equal to minus 3. We need to check the continuity at x equal to minus 3. When we say that function is continuous at x equal to minus 3, when we say if this holds good, limit x approaches to minus 3 f of x equal to f of minus 3, then we say that function is continuous at x equal to minus 3. So, first I will calculate this value. Next, I will calculate this value. If both are same, then I can say that function is continuous at x equal to minus 3. Okay. First, I will calculate this. Limit x approaches to minus 3 f of x. That equal to 
limit x approaches to minus 3 f of x what is the function the function is 5x minus 3 how to calculate this limit for any limit problem first we try by direct method that means in this function wherever x is there there you write minus 3 and what you will get you will get that 5 into minus 3 minus 3 5 into minus 3 minus 15 minus 3 that is minus 18 now when i calculate this value i got minus 18 now we will calculate f of minus 3 f of minus 3 calculate f of minus 3 what is f of x f of x is 5x minus 3 what is f of y f of y is 5y minus 3 f of z is 5 into z minus 3 f of minus 3 is what f of minus 3 is 5 into minus 3 minus 3 that what you will get minus 15 minus 3 that is minus 18 you observe here this value also we got minus 18 so what you can conclude here you can conclude that therefore limit x approaches to minus 3 f of x equal to f of minus 3 when this holds good what we say we say that f of x is continuous f of x is continuous where at x equal to minus 3 similarly i want you to try this bit when we say function is continuous at x equal to 5 if limit extends to 5 f of x equal to f of 5 then we say that function is continuous at x equal to 5 so first you calculate this and then you calculate f of 5 if both are same then we say that function is continuous at x equal to 5 actually at x equal to 5 also function is continuous you will get when you try i hope you understand this class if you like this video please share it with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe now thanks for watching have a great day bye bye